Man and everybody, welcome back. You are watching Man in SVG. And I am joined now by the beautiful Tamira Brown. She is a senior foreign service officer in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Tamira, welcome to Man in SVG. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Good morning, SVG. Good morning, everyone. Really happy to be here this morning to talk about the World Creativity and Innovation Day Competition 2022. Yeah, so the Ministry of Foreign Affairs is spearheading that um, drive to get Vincentians to show their creativity and tell their stories. Tell us about that. What is World Creativity Innovation Day all about? Okay, so the World Creativity and Innovation Day is actually as a result of a UN resolution passed by St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And what we do is encourage countries across the world to utilize that day to showcase innovation and creativity. Mm -hmm. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we would be having this competition this year, which is a special edition because we know the last year has been somewhat special. And I say that because we've had the explosive eruption of the last refer volcano mm -hmm. and many persons won't be around for another explosive eruption, fingers crossed there. But we really want to document that in creative ways. Mm -hmm. And that's how this competition came about for this year. And it's been really pushed by three ambassadors, particularly. So before we go to the ambassadors, that is the, the, the focus this year on the eruption of the volcano, is that that is Correct. a special? So Correct. most of whatever we do should be focused around that. Well, the theme is charting resilience, recording uh -huh. recovery. So right. that's the theme for all the categories of okay. competition, which I will discuss. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going on to tell us who, who are the major pushers. So the major pushers are Ambassador King. She's our permanent representative at the UN. We have Ambassador Bowman. Bowman, we know she's our representative in Taiwan, our mm -hmm. ambassador in Taiwan. And we also have Ambassador Gilchrist, who are the major pushers of this initiative. And we are encouraging Vincentians everywhere to participate, to share their experiences. And they can share their experiences in four categories of the competition. The four categories are the storytelling category, mm -hmm. the essay category, we also have the poetry category and the pictorial narrative category. And just to give a clear indication, in each category of competition, mm -hmm. there are three age groups. So for example, in the story, short story aspect, we have the envoys can participate, persons who are from 9 to 13 years. Mm -hmm. We have in the, we also have the ambassadors age group, 14 to 18 years, and we have the diplomats, 19 years and older, and some persons say 19 to 99, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, persons of any age over 19 mm -hmm. can participate in that age group as well. Mm -hmm. Persons have also been asking if it's okay for them to not only tell a short story, or right in the poetry category, they can compete in all categories that they wish to compete. We're not limiting anyone to any one category for the competition. Okay, so we had this World Creativity and Innovation Day pushed through the United Nations. When exactly is that day celebrated? World Creativity and Innovation Day is the 21st of April mm -hmm. and to commemorate it this year, what would happen is the competition closes on the 8th we gave our judges some time to review all the submissions and entries mm -hmm. and then we would announce the winners on World Creativity and Innovation Day. Of course, there would be the presentation of the awards mm -hmm. following, but the announcement of the winners would happen on World Creativity and Innovation Day, which is the April the 21st. Okay, so that is what we are doing in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Do you have a sense of what the rest of the world uh, might be doing? Not at this time. Quite a few other countries are usually engaged mm -hmm. in different expos and exhibitions. Mm -hmm. But to say that one country or the next is doing a specific thing, I haven't looked around to, to find out what other countries are doing for this year. Okay, is this being pushed in, in the schools to get the school children? Of course, we want our Vincentian students to take part in this amazing opportunity because really and truly, the experience through their eyes would not necessarily be the same through the, ex the experiences of an adult. 
So we want to hear from our students and they are open to participate in any category. I actually like the competition because it does not only give room for the writers, but those who are artists as well mm -hmm. can share submissions. For example, you know, the, I, I know when the volcano erupted, a lot of students would have taken pictures right. to, they can submit their photos in the pictorial narrative aspect of the competition mm -hmm. if you're not necessarily ne not necessarily a short storyteller or an essay writer you can also consider the poetry aspect of things okay. of course there are guidelines and i'm sure you can go to the ministry of foreign affairs foreign affairs and foreign trades social media handles to find out more information but mm -hmm. it's really open to everyone and why we thought it was fitting to do it now it's because we don't want the stories to become diluted. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to capture the very essence of how Vincentians experienced the right. 2021 explosive eruptions and in the immediate aftermath, what stories they have to share as a result. Right, it is still fresh in their minds. It is still fresh in their yes. minds. And we, we would, we don't want to lose those photographs. We do not, we do not. And everything else that comes with it. Uh, we will be sharing the, the guidelines on API's page as well so persons can go there and see what the, the rules and guidelines are for the competition and the different categories in which you can participate. Uh, Tamira, when is the deadline for submission? And by the way, people here are in competition so they want to know what kind of prizes you're offering so you can speak to that. Yes, definitely. The deadline for competition is on April 8th. Mm -hmm. and the submission should be made no later than 5 p.m. April 8th, <laughs> submissions no later than 5 p.m. So we encourage persons, you have time now, think about what categories you may be more inclined to participate in and start putting your thoughts together, putting pen to paper so that you will be able to participate. All submissions must be made to an email address. Mm -hmm. So we have the submissions in soft copy. It's WCID, which is the shortened form for World Creativity and Innovation Day. Mm -hmm. Competitions with an S, 2022 at gmail.com. And on the terms and conditions flyer, you would also see specifically how persons can caption their entries for the competition. Okay, so Maria, I think we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for coming in. It's World Creativity and Innovation Day, and you're being asked to participate in the competition. Before we finish, I'm sorry. Yes. Did we miss something? There are cash prizes over oh, $65,000 in total. So we encourage persons to check out the cash prizes. I think for across all the categories of competition, in the Envoys category, we have the first place receiving $1,000, the second place receiving $500, and the third place receiving $350. So in the 9 to 13 years category, that would be something that I'm sure would get the children excited. And there are up to five consolation prizes of $50. We also have in the ambassadors category, that's the 14 to 18 age range, we have $2,000 for the first prize, $1,000 for the second prize, and $750 for the third prize. In the diplomats category, this may be very exciting <laughs> if you're in that category. Persons like me would be in that category. $4,000 for the first prize. We have $2,000 for the second prize, and $1,250 for the third prize. And we have consolation prizes up to $300 EC. So, I think on that note, <laughs> persons would be very happy to participate and I want to thank you so much for having yeah. me here this morning. Any questions, feel free to reach out to us at Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Foreign Trade at 456-2060. All right. Thank you. Thank you again, Tamira. Um, we will be right back. Stay with us.